Hello and welcome to this video. Today we're in a different background setting location. I'm actually sat in my kitchen. I was gonna film this outside but it's way too hot and this is the trouble is when the weather does get nice in the UK it gets too hot. For today's video a bit of explanation and backstory. Basically this is around the just over a year of me getting properly back into reading. Given that it's kind of been like just over a year now but about a year of me reading I wanted to give you my top 15 now I've struggled to narrow it down to 15 but my top 15 favorite books that I've read in my first year back of reading and the ones that I would most recommend to you guys yeah get yourself a drink a snack and we will talk through my favorite books that I've read over the course of the past year you've probably heard of all of these because they're very highly talked about ones because obviously when I was trying to decide what books to read um I was following booktube recommendations and things like that so there's probably not going to be very many surprises on here most of them are from last year probably like four of them are from this year so far because I haven't actually read very many five star reads yet this year these are all five star books for me as well by the way so they're probably going to be in the order that I read them they're not in any like specific oh number one is my favorite but the first one that I want to talk about is Ace of Spades. I believe this was their debut novel. I loved it, like I flipping ate that up. It was like Pretty Little Liars kind of like torture, not really torture, but like bullying. But it was, I'm not sound, making it sound as it should. <laughs> Basically there's two, it follows two characters, a boy and a girl. The girl's quite popular at school, the boy is sort of like, not unpopular but just kind of keeps himself to himself and they're both getting targeted by this well unknown source <laughs> and they sort of team up together to try and find out who's doing it and why because they're getting so much trouble and then this whole thing <sighs> maybe check trigger warnings for this one next up is one that you probably all know so well by now and that is the Seven Husbands of Evelyn Hugo. Do you know what's funny about this book, right, is that me and my best friend both really, really desperately badly wanted to read it, right? And this time last year I actually got it her for her birthday and we buddy read it. And I loved it and she DNF'd it, which is perfectly fine, everyone's entitled to their own opinions. But obviously we always have very, very, like we always have almost exactly the same opinions on everything, especially books. Um, because we're literally like the same person so it was a bit of a big shock when it was like so drastically different opinions um, but she did say that she wants to try and reread it and she would like me to annotate it for her at some point so we'll probably do that but yeah it was just funny how we didn't agree on this one but I loved it like I loved oh, just like the whole story I just yeah if you know you know i don't really want to go too into it it's basically it's a romance and you can guess by the title but it's kind of like about who the love of her life is next up we have shipped now this is actually one that i don't really hear very many people talk about and i so basically when i read shipped i read the hating game first and then shipped now the thing with shipped is it was done so much better like if you thought you liked the hating game or you did like the hating game read shipped especially in the summer because it's set on a cruise ship it's like the perfect reasoning of why they don't get on it oh it was so good i personally think it's so much better than the hating game i did read both and like both by the way next up i can't believe we're only on number four is the summer of broken rules of course I was obsessed with this book if you saw my I think it was reading some of Beach House Reads video or something I'll try and leave it linked down below I'll try and leave any videos with these in that I mentioned down below but I'm not very good at remembering to do that so we'll see but if you saw that video you'll know how much I loved and obsessed over this book I read it so quickly it's like a I think is it YA I'm not sure but it's a romance um, and it's got a game of assassin in there as well with water guns and it's just got like such a good vibe. 
Next up is Beetreed. This is also in that same video, I believe. And oh my god, Beetreed by Emily Henry oh, has a special place in my heart, and it's always one of my favourites. Like, you can see my reactions to when I read it in that video. And it's just like, oh, some of the quotes and things in it and the scenes and it's one of those like more emotional romances where it's got like a really good connection and it's just written really beautifully that so many things I wanted to <laughs> highlight and underline. I didn't actually annotate it when I read it so I kind of want to reread it and annotate it. My next one is Better Than the Movies. Oh, I loved this, it was so cute. Like ya rom-com but it was like oh it was just perfect so it had like all of the movie quotes on the chapter bits as well and it's kind of childhood friends to enemies to lovers i guess but it really reminds me of the duff the movie the duff so if you've seen that and you liked it you'll probably like this book my next one is one true loves by Taylor Jenkins Reid. Of course there would be some TJR in this because, well, as well as Evelyn Hugo, <laughs> there's a few more. Um, well, only one more after this, I think. Yeah. But there's three TJR books on this list and you can tell that I love her writing. But, uh, One True Loves is just like, <laughs> I love that book so much. I'm Movie's coming soon, I think, isn't it? Yeah, this was in my reading seven romances in seven days video, I think. So if you want to see what I thought on my initial reading, then I'll leave that video down below if I remember as well. This is basically this woman gets married to her high school sweetheart, and then <clears throat> he goes off on a trip and is presumed dead, and then she's grieving him for like quite a long time and eventually she ends up having to move on she falls in love again and she's engaged or married i can't remember which exactly to a new guy i think she's engaged and it's like the day or so before the wedding or like a bit of time before their wedding and she gets a phone call and it's her high school sweetheart basically being like oh i'm still alive like i'm coming home but it's really good because then she has to sort of decide whether to go back to her first love or a new love. Next up, you knew it was going to be on this list, it's one of my favourite books ever that I always talk about, Archer's Voice. I have struggled since I read this book to read a romance because none of them compare. Like, it's small town, it's strangers to friends to lovers, kind of, I think, maybe. But oh my god, this book is so... Oh. Page 198. <laughs> like, I've just recently reread it to annotate it for my best friend for her birthday because she asked me to, and <clears throat> so many like small scenes in this that are like. <sighs> and it, like, literally the ending almost broke my heart the first time I read it because I didn't know what was coming next. And like I thought something happened when it didn't. This again is in my Seven Romances video. I think I've struggled because I've been wanting like another emotional romance in like a small town setting and that that's gonna give me the same feelings as this since and I haven't found it until I think the book that I'm reading at the moment which I've added to this list as the last one so you'll find out. Next up I've got The Inheritance Games because you best believe I love puzzles, riddles, mysteries, all that stuff. And so this was like so good, I ate this up. Technically I'm referring to the whole series but I'm going to go with just book one for now um, because otherwise that's kind of cheating this video. But this has really short chapters, it kind of has a love triangle but I don't really feel like it is. I feel like it's fairly obvious what's happening and it doesn't really because it's with the brothers, you know, between Avery and the two brothers, like, she obviously doesn't really do too much with both. It's basically this girl ends up getting this random 
billionaire's inheritance and she has no idea why she's not related to him and the whole mystery aspect is them trying to find out why he's given her this inheritance basically rather than his entire family it's really really good i highly recommend this one especially if you're trying to get into reading because it kind of has a bit of everything and it's so fast paced where the chapters are so short Next up, I believe we're on number 10, is The Silent Patient. Now this book blew my mind when I read it. Like, uh, I was like so shocked by the reveal at the end, but then it all made so much sense. And I was like, oh, this was like the perfect um, thriller where it's kind of like, you have no idea what's going on. Kind of like an un unreliable narrator in a way but oh, it was just so so good and it was done so well. Next up, now this will probably be a bit of a more controversial one, but it's Birthday Girl by Penelope Douglas because I, I'd been wanting to read this book for so long, right? I had it for so long and I was like, right, this is gonna be the first Penelope Douglas book I read. It wasn't. I read Punk 57 first and absolutely loved it. I would have put that on this list, but because I had to wheel it down, it didn't quite make the cut, even though it is also a five star read for me. So a little honourable mention there. But, Birthday Girl. So because I didn't read it for a long time, it got to December and my birthday last year, and I was like, right, I'm gonna read it for my birthday. So I did actually make a reading vlog of this as well. So I, as I say, I'll try and leave all these videos linked down below if I remember. It was Age Gap Forbidden Romance. I thought it was just really good actually and I kept forgetting about the age gap when I was reading it, kind of, to some extent. But yeah, I did really thoroughly enjoy it and I quite like Penelope Douglas's writing so I think I definitely want to read more of her books. Next up, now we're into the ones that I've read this year. <laughs> so my next one is Icebreaker. This was so good. Basically, at the start of the year, I read the Off Campus series, and then I read a couple of books after that, and then Icebreaker. And I love both, but Icebreaker was just like better, so it made this list because the fact that it's not really like any miscommunication, and there wasn't really like a third act breakup kind of, it didn't follow the same sort of like structure and rules that most um romances do like that i was very pleasantly surprised and i thoroughly enjoyed it it's ice it's a sports romance it's like ice skating and hockey and basically it's anastasia and nathan and he's like golden retriever and basically her partner gets injured and so he ends up like taking his place and trying to help her okay we only have three left so my next one is carrie soto is back I flippin' loved this book. I think when I read it, I gave it a 4.75 stars. I've changed my mind since it's five <laughs> because I just keep thinking like, I love how Carrie Soto was characterized and like how strong and independent and like speaks her mind she is. And I just loved seeing the dedication and all the hard work and everything in this book and it, sends out a really great message to be honest and I'm not really one for tennis but I still liked the book and I still was able to kind of understand tennis through it. Next I had to choose between two books, I had to choose between Twisted Lies and Twisted Games and I ended up choosing Twisted Games um, because this was probably my, f mm, probably my favourite of the Twisted series. Well this and Twisted Lies are like joint, but I thought I'd go for Twisted Games because it was a refre refreshingly different format. These are the only two books in the Twisted series that I actually enjoyed. Um, definitely didn't like Twisted Love, and I wasn't a massive fan of Twisted Hate because I just don't really like enemies to lovers, that's my personal thing. But yeah, Twisted Games, oh, I love the fact that the reason that they have a little mini break is because not because of something that one of them did or miscommunication it's because of like social and political standards but this is bodyguard i think it's a huge gap <coughs> um like forbidden love so yeah basically bridget who's a real life princess 
gets assigned a new bodyguard and at first they don't really get on but he's very protective and it's a romance you can guess what happens and then finally my 15th and last book on this list oh, i actually have it right here can you see how much i've tabbed it so far like that's how far in i am at the moment by the way i haven't actually finished it yet but i already know that this is going to be a five star book unless the ending is awful which i tell the truth about love basically this is two high school sweethearts like she moves to this small town they start dating but then everything's going good for like almost a year and then things aren't so good and basically they end up falling apart for some reason that i'm not gonna say this book starts off so cute right but then it gets a bit heavy so i would definitely recommend checking trigger warnings because i didn't know that it was gonna get heavy going into it um but it's the cutest romance and this is the only book since reading archer's voice that has made me feel the same way and see all these tabs like i've tried my hardest not to highlight and tap but there's literally like a whole page's worth of highlighting because that's how good all the like how well it's written and how good all of the like metaphorical quotes and things are so also the page artwork is beautiful but if you want an emotional read and you're fine with the triggers in this i would definitely recommend giving this one a go however if you are triggered quite easily definitely check the trigger warnings and maybe steer clear but oh, it's such a good book so so good i love it so much okay so that is it for this video i really hope you enjoyed getting a bit of a sneak peek and a look into my favorite books that i've been reading over the past year or so if you want me to do any like romance recommendations or murder mystery ones or anything like that then i can do just leave a comment in the box down below i i wanted to do recommendation videos for so long but i had never read enough books so I wasn't really able to until like a point like now where I've read at least almost a hundred so yeah hope you did enjoy this video if you did please give it a big thumbs up and remember to subscribe if you haven't already because my videos are not to a specific schedule they're just kind of like all over the place whenever they're ready because my laptop doesn't like to cooperate with editing but yeah Hopefully you enjoyed it and I'll see you in my next one very soon.